don't know, man. Oh, fuck. It's like I have to use the matches or else I, if I don't want to trip shit over. First aid. Oh, t weird. Oh, because I'm hiding. Great. Um, I like how we're getting all these cool illusions. I, I don't know. It's like, oh, ah, oh, son of a bitch. That sucks. Now my hands all cut up again. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go on this side and hopefully not get attacked. Oh, man, this family is so. Oh boy. Oh come, man. Man. Why well, we gotta be like that? There's a spear right there. Don't appear to be a killer here. Can I pick that up? Oh, that that wasn't a spear. All right. We were not in here before. We're in a new area. Awesome. Oh, only two. That's fine. Let's look at the map again. I'm trying to get out of this damn basement. Check room. Passage to the first floor. That's where we need to go. We seem to be getting quick. Uh, we seem to quickly be getting there. I need to get over there. And we can get over there, too. It's a fragment of a pitcher. Good. My life went up again. Is that, fr is that from the hairpin? I thought the hairpin was just a one-time thing. A strange device attached. Shall I open it? Yes. Uh, all I need to do is move all the buttons on the left to the right end. Simple enough. Right? Wait. Simple enough, right? What the... I don't get it. What kind of a puzzle is this? Uh... Why I'm not understanding this? Oh. Okay. It's just trial and error again. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I got that bottom part to the right side. Uh, what the fuck? This is the important thing is we got that to that side. Now we gotta just fiddle around with this. I'm making progress, but then again... there. What if we move this over here? Nope. Holy fuck. Oh my god. How do I... This is so, like, just a random puzzle. You just have to get lucky. So, so lucky. How does that not work? No, don't move that. Unless I have to move this. Oh, I can't move it to the center. I'm not moving it back. Not doing that shit. That'd be dumb. What about... Nope, can't do it that way. Ah. <sighs>
Okay. Got the third one. Uh, hopefully this moves over there and finally. Yeah, so just in time for what? This is a weed killer that, that could kill people if they drink it. What? Why would I drink it? That would have been dumb, but I don't want to do that puzzle again. Oh, what do I need the poison for? Is there anything here? No, I guess not. Huh. It, do I have evidence? I think I have evidence. Let's head... Oh! Didn't, didn't get this. All right, we're gonna make it to that entrance. Oh fuck! Oh, I missed that chest. I want that chest. Hopefully, he despawns. Is there anything? Hold on. What does the map say about the study personal room? I feel like heading up if I can. Why? Uh oh. Wait, I thought he was. D uh, anyway. Samoon is not your fault. Probably it's because of us. You don't understand me. Right, if you inject. If you are injected with my new medicine. You will realize that it is not my fault. What are you talking about? Am I dead? What the fuck is this shit? Oh! What's happening? Am I dead? Just fucking... I'm dead. I don't get what that whole thing was. Oh god, I went a different direction. Uh, when I was heading towards the stairs, I suddenly smelled something strange. A unique smell that was not something I felt before. It was emanting from somewhere nearby. A mix of spicy scorch and bitter smell. It also had a tiny, a tint of rusty smell on it. This doesn't feel good. Hold on, I, I went over here because I found these items, and I want them, especially this. Oh, it said it was nine before. Fuck, it's, it's random. But anyway, we're gonna tackle that other area next time. Oh, what the fuck has happened? He just said my butt aches. What is this on the floor? What? Blood. Slippery floor was due to blood puddle. It was wetting from the front of the stairway leading to the first floor. Beneath the stairs was a shadow of a man's foot sticking out of the darkness. What? Where's Yuna? This body's too damaged to clearly recognize his face. There were a number of holes punched all over his body, especially the wound on his left hand seemed to be most severe. Holy shit. He is murdered. The body was damaged beyond a possible cure, but it seemed to have been abandoned here for a long time. There's no other trace of struggle. It seems that he was killed at this place. Huh. What was that noise? Oh. Did he drop it? Alright, let's save immediately and look at the map. Is there a study on this floor? About the first floor. 
Yuna's room. Is there a study? I don't get it. Oh, there's, oh, up there. All right, before we go there, let's go to the study then. Which was, is that where I was before? I don't know, because this is where I was before, and that, yeah, it's right above me. And I went in there, and I was attacked by the, a ghost of my dead brother. Yeah, it's the same, same thing. Oh, this is a weird segment. Alright, but let's save... Here. Oh, fuck, I'm playing. So this is I'm supposed to beat the boss. Oh, I feel like this is Metal Gear music. I don't even know. But I feel like I'm doing a lot better. Where, where does the map say I'm at? I'm almost... Am I in the study or at the study? Oh! Bullshit! Oh, I died. I need to... Oh, I need to heal myself. Whenever he starts attacking me. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, same video, different day. Um, I stopped my recession last. I uh, stopped my session last time uh, because that part was really hard, and it took me a while until I realized. And I, I did this without recording, or without recording commentary. Uh, yeah, switch to the crowbar. Use uh, Gordon Freeman's crowbar, not the fucking fly swatter. I'm an idiot. Anyway, it looks like we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I'd say. So hopefully we get a pretty satisfying ending. Uh, I heard that Manly Badass Hero beat this game, or at least got one ending. But now we're entering this room, which is the save room? I know we wanted to come here. Yeah, personal room. Yeah. Oh, fuck. No, please. Son of a bitch. Stop my fear from increasing. Assholes, man. Stop it. Oh, I'm fucked now. <laughs> it still looks so stupid. Uh, alright, hold on, hold on. Alright, well, there's nothing around here. Let's just not investigate. Let's just use the damn matches. Yep, there's the safe. Anything else? No. Don't look like it. Security system. Uh, this is security system for the basement. If only Minho's medallion fit here. All right, I could hear a heavy motor sound from afar. It's certain that all the shutters in the basement are now open. I'm glad I could use it. I feel so great. All right, let's save there in case the recording fucks up. Which. Oh, okay. I thought it was blocked off. Alright then. So we should have... Should be able to go to the first floor, right? I guess so. That was a weird section. To fight my dead brother? I don't even know. Oh, come on. Oh, there's a picture here. I thought I triggered another... 
dumb thing again. What was that for? So we don't have all the pieces yet. Are we ever going to get all the pieces? Who knows? Alright. Um, can we look at those pieces yet? We were missing... Give up. Yeah, we're missing qu quite a few. That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm not actually getting pissed off, but still, it's just like... It's like, why? Why'd you spawn him there? Why did you do this? Alright. Constantly saving, but, you know. You guys should be used to it by now. That I do that. This is where we want to go. Door leads to the first floor. We do not have time to waste. I open the door without a moment of hesitation. What? Wait, before I could make any sound, Moon Woo and I fell down the wall towards the wall together. What? Okay, that's not where to go. Hold on a second, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. I have her ear pin. Master key. What the hell? Wait, I'm missing something? What am I missing? Oh my god. What am I missing? Uh, okay. Uh, not even debatable that or no ordinary people in modern society could refrain from keeping their money in the bank. Much more efficient to use the bank than any other means to store money. Uh, however, I will not put my money in the bank. I'll put my entire life fortune in a safe without cutting, with cutting edge technology and manage it myself. It doesn't matter whether people laugh at my whatever. I have no trust in the financial world. Yeah. Affecting the society in a productive way. It seems to be a journal that my father left. He did not trust the bank. The new safe installed in the sitting room utilizes a state and art. The safe is based on a passcode system. If only... Only the people who know the passcode can open the safe. If anyone tries to force it open, the safe goes into a complete lockout mode. Security safe is as high as the bank. However, it did not seem to give my wife enough peace of mind. She annoys me every day to install an additional security system. Seems uh, that the one her acquaintance is running a business such devices. Or is her buy a new one? Uh, it would be a disaster if one of the family members accidentally activates the system and gets trapped in the security system. I cannot ignore how the other people would think of the family. I better talk with my wife to give up the plan when she feels generous. She can be easily edgy inside. So the dad installed the security system? Say I'm going to record a passcode at a separate place just in case something bad happens. This is a necessary procedure anyway in order to keep the inherited rights in this family in the next... Whatever, I decided to store the passcode in a golden ornament. Ooh. But it can actually be separated into two pieces at the top inside the ornaments is hollow. I'll write the passcode on the parchment so treat put inside the ornament. No one will know the existence of the passcode unless I tell them. So it's in the ornament that we have. That's interesting. The ornament? Father's relic that Menho gave me? I guess it means this. It's right here. Where is it? What? It was in my inventory. But I do not remember dropping anywhere, so it must have gone while I was fainted. 
if someone took it on purpose, uh, the only possibility is that I can expect is that the safe is in danger. How? I ran all the way up to the second floor? Disturbing hunches never goes wrong. The safe deposit box was wide open, unlike the last time, but it was tightly locked. Now that Mother and Menhu is not here, the only one who can open this uh, no secret of the Golden Ormit and get a grip of it. Who would know it? Uh-oh. I think he must have taken the ornament while I was passed out. Maybe it's possible he's still in there. But I have no choice but to go in and check. Alrighty then. Hold on. Let's do this. Huh. Who's in here? There's nobody in the safe. Literally nothing. Most of the boxes were thrown open and there were nothing of any value. The family legacy. There were only a few sheets of cash uh, were all there was left with the family property that fa father left for us. All the reason that this family has been fighting over. It's all gone. It's all my fault. I did not know that the ornament had such a secret and I had to keep it safe as a relic from my father. I shouldn't have lost it. As a result of the mishap, I could not just keep my family and all the lost money in this family as... Wait, as a result of that, I could not... Just keep my family. Now what can I do? But there's still a chance left. The kill will not be able to get out of this house unless he finds the first floor medallion. If he finds a medallion before the killer does, may I may be able to stop him somehow. I like how we just magically ran up here. Even though that trap kind of kept us from advancing. Retro style dial was on the door to save. So no scratches near the dial seemed that no one tried to force it open. There were no keyholes in the door. Um, I don't have a key. I once uh, read a detective novel that detailed description of lockpicking criminals. I memorized most of it. The book was based on that. Okay, I might be able to open the small. I do not have a stethoscope. I'll be able to. Try to open. Uh, turn the dial to designate direction and press the S key when you hear a sound. Oh, cool. This is thrilling. Okay, I actually had to put my volume up a little bit to really get the exact different sound than before. But we did it. I didn't know I could really open it. What is in here? The joy of opening the safe with the knowledge from the book lasted only for a short time. I had to be astonished to find what was inside the safe. <gasps> what? Nobody could have imagined what was contained inside the small safe deposit box. A medallion, a hand inside the safe was a human hand holding medallion. I guess it it would be a fake. Wait, I I guess that it would be a fake and touched it, but the soft texture was like touching a real human hand. Well, it would be depending on how long it would be in there. It would be liquid, like like holy or uh, how? Why why is it in here? Oh my God. That's right. He had his hand. His hand was missing. I was just looking at his gross face. He was severely injured beyond any possible restoration, and his left hand was gone. This hand must be Minoru's. Whoop! I covered my mouth to stop me from vomiting. Yeah, so his hand actually isn't look like it hasn't been there for a while. So it's actually still not fresh, but it's like decaying anyway. I could recover myself after a number of deep breaths, and I could not make myself feel any better. 
I was not sure if this was a warning to anyone who tried to escape or was intended to frighten those who would look at the medallion or was a mischievous joke. Judging from the fact that the killer put the medallion here, he has no intention to get out of this house anytime soon. Right. He does not he does not try to escape this house. He must be a crazy guy who is filled with the thought of frightening and killing all my family. Mother. Samoon. Xian. Minhu. And even Minwu. <laughs> Why'd they have to use that picture of him? <laughs> Without his shirt. Everyone was slaughtered by him. And he put in the box the hand of Minwu holding Medallion as if he wanted to mock me. As if he was playing a hide and seek. This is not a grudge. Only someone who is purely insane can do such a thing. Sick bastard. I won't forgive you. I cannot just wait and see things happen anymore. I must kill him. I will kill you. I know you can hear me. For the first time in my life, I feel a dark emotion waking up inside me. And I will not run away from a guy from the guy anymore. I think I am now ready to kill people without hesitation. <laughs> I grasp the crowbar that I've been carrying and no longer feels heavy and I and it brandishes so easily and lightly. I think I can make him a mess with this. I already did. Medallion of a bear. I'm kind of surprised there's more game. No, I actually want to equip it. Yeah, we do have the, uh... So we're just crazy now. Is that it? Okay. Alrighty. Um... So... Oh! The moment I entered the sitting room, I heard someone. The moment I entered the room, I heard someone. It must be the killer. I did not try to search him. I did not need to try to search him all over the place. Oh my god, look at his eyes. What would be the killer of the blood? Why would... Okay, grasping the crowbar tightly in my hands, I quietly approached the killer. I'm kind of surprised I'm controlling him. Oh shit. Did I take damage? I don't. I don't. Didn't really see. Oh, I swung down the crowbar on the head of the killer with all my force. The killer disappeared, and my hand crossed the air. It disappeared. It's another illusion. Oh, God. Yeah, these illusions are making it like. I feel like at the end of this, I'm actually the murderer, and everything that I've been through is all an illusion. Everything. Like, I have a second personality that's been taken over, and this personality has just been seeing shit. I don't know. The headache seems to have been relieved now, as if the anger is acting as a painkiller. That means the distinction between the reality and illusion. I don't care. Right. If I kill everyone I see, one of them will surely be the killer. If I go to the antechamber on the second floor, I should be able to reset the security system and go to the second floor. I will eliminate all the killers and send save Yuna. The simple solution lifted at the last block of hesitation for me, and I slowly hid myself into the darkness. I don't know how I feel about this. I am kind of suspect Yuna to be the person plotting everything. Whatever, what do I know? Um, 